today we celebrate the feast day of St. Jane Frances de Chantal, a woman who lived a very virtuous life, a married woman, and an example for all of us to live humbly. Jane Frances was born in Dijon, France to a very wealthy father, but her father was also a devout Catholic, so he raised Jane and his other children with a lot of prayer in the family and a lot of religious discussion. As Jane grew, she learned more and more about her faith. When she was old enough, she met a man named Christopher whom she married. Together they had six children and had a very blessed marriage until one day there was a hunting accident and one of Christopher's friends accidentally shot him and killed him. Jane, though, forgave this man. With the loss of Christopher from her life, Jane felt an emptiness inside of her. After Jane's children had grown up and gone away to school, Jane started to look for a spiritual director in case she wanted to enter into a convent and become a nun. Eventually, a priest known as St. Francis de Sales came into Jane's life and he urged Jane to not enter into the sisterhood but instead to found a new order that could be for women that under different circumstances could still take vows and promises of obedience. So with Francis's help and Jane's ability to organize well, they committed the Order of the Visitation, a group of sisters that could live together and take vows of obedience. Saint Jane died on December 13, 1641 and was proclaimed a saint by Pope Clement XIII in 1767. Today we remember Saint Jane for all of her humility and obedience under different circumstances. We can look to her as a role model in our own faith life as an example of humility and obedience.